Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about uh, different uh, types of data stores in NoSQL database. So uh, before you start, or, or okay, you are you are like a beginner in NoSQL and you just wanted to learn, you you just keep starting the topics and that means you need to know this particular topic. Or you 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 are already an experienced person in NoSQL concept, but you are in a place like a solution architect and you have to suggest a NoSQL database to your client or to your team then this topic is very important so we need to know which database comes under which type of data store you can ask me what is data store so data store is like an uh, extension for the files that we use right for example we say like excel is dot xl lx and then a notepad files or dot txt so simil similarly each of the nosql database has its own format of storing the data and that is where we call call, call it as data store and uh, if you if we have like 100 plus nosql databases and if you take any of the nosql database it has to be get categorized first so this db comes under which data store and make sure that particular data store is comfortable for your data and for the read and write retrieval the performance is good or not if I use this particular data store so it's up to you to decide it okay so basically we have four important types of data stores so no SQL data stores so the very first one is key value data store so your data uh, will be get stored as a key and value pairs and you retrieve the value based on the key so key value data store so an example for this is like red is a db that comes under uh, key value and even oracle has their own oracle no sql so that comes under this and then there is something called couch db so that also comes under key value data store and then second column oriented sorry for the mistakes column oriented data store Okay, so uh, you can call it as columnar data store or column oriented data store and the column oriented data store is really fast and retrieval and the, and the querying will be very fast because the data will be get stored as in a column wise. So the, your column level aggregations will be very speed. So uh, and that's the reason like even if you take uh, any other uh, data querying engine like not not the DB. I like even Hive and Redshift or Columnar database, but they are not a deep, it means they are not a NoSQL, but I'm just telling it. So a data model you can use across not only the DB, even outside the DB, you can use the data model, right? So, okay, fine. So column oriented data store, I can give you an example. Hatchbase is one of the very familiar NoSQL database, Hadoop database, and that's why we call it as an Hatchbase. It's again a NoSQL, and then there is something called Cassandra. So Cassandra is also an, one of the very famous NoSQL database, and uh, Hatchbase and Cassandra by Facebook, and we have a lot of commercial vendors now but initially it was developed by uh, uh, hbase and cassandra developed by facebook and uh, uh, hbase and cassandra architecture will be same but the querying language is different so even here the querying language of each of this products are different okay so the third one is document oriented data store so document oriented data store mongodb so MongoDB is a, again uh, one of the very famous database. So MongoDB everything is JSON. So you you the query itself it looks like a JSON and there is no SQL and all. It's it's a JSON. You have to query as JSON. And uh, the tables, the files of the tables will be get stored as a document as a JSON document in the background. And that's the reason we call it as a document data store. And finally, graph data store. So graph data store, an example I can give is Neo4j, it's a NoSQL DB, it, it's a graph data store. So uh, uh, people use graph data store for applications like uh, in in Facebook you have the mutual connections right so so the mutual uh, friends and even in LinkedIn you have mutual connections and even uh, for the sentimental analysis like the person who likes this also likes this an e-commerce website you might have seen right so that kind of an uh, uh, applications has to be built on a graph related structure a data structure has to be in the graph related and we have databases which supports that graph uh, stuffs right so that's the reason we call neo4j as a graph data store neo4j is a wonderful db that once you start working with it it will be more interesting one for you to do actually so all uh, we have like uh, commercial and free open source databases also like hbase cassandra mongodb is free for you and neo4j trial is there but you have to pay for it and redis and uh, even oracle yeah, oracle no sql you have to pay for it 
So, but the top three NoSQL database, even I told in many videos, Hatchbase, Cassandra, MongoDB are the top three, and these top three are free, and you can use it. So, uh, uh, I have, that's all with respect to the topic. But I have a lot of NoSQL data uh, videos in my YouTube channel, and I have given the playlist link in the description box. And thanks for watching it. at knowledge.com. We provide videos in two languages, English and Tamil, and I have a lot of tech videos other than the theory as well. And we have. Uh, uh, lot of other uh, tech videos as i told you like python scala so we have so many other stuffs and i have shared my linkedin and instagram url in the description box please connect and follow us and please do subscribe my channel thanks for watching it was at knowledge.com